thing recording, but you're actually recording yeah. now. Well, it's recording. Yeah. Okay. My name is Bonnie Brayton, and I was a victim of sexual abuse. The abuse began when I was 12 years old with a family relative, a male relative that was one of the people that I trusted the most, and that I thought was there to protect me. He had always been especially attentive to me, as he had no children of his own, and I was the youngest in our family, so I had always had my share of doting. I was a very affectionate child and was always hanging off the neck of someone bigger than me in the house. So it went on for a while and my parents did not stop it because they did not know. I wanted to tell someone but I felt ashamed and that I had somehow provoked it and that I was also guilty of something. This terrible thing called incest. The abuse that happened to me was not violent, it was insidious and dark and this secret bad thing. And there's no answer in my story. Just know that I was finally able to tell someone who confronted my abuser and it stopped. Eventually I was able to confront him too and to tell him that he had hurt me, damaged me. It helped me to heal and to feel less like a victim. Sexual abuse or incest, this word that carries so much burden for the victim, as it turns out, in my family was a much deeper issue and goes back several generations, as far as I can tell. But of course, this is the point. No one told, at least not for a very, very long time. Eventually, I learned that he was also a victim, my abuser, and that also stays with me. I decided I would share my story because I know that in telling my story, I might help another woman who never felt safe or okay to disclose her story. It's not going to change what happened to me. And it's, let's be really clear, what he did to me was wrong. It hurt me, and then, then and it still hurts me to this day because it's still there in my mind. Even to this day when I close my eyes or sometimes when I'm with my intimate partner, even after all these years. But when I close my eyes and I realize I'm okay and here, that's my story. Thank you.